Welcome to the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Lite versus the Samsung Galaxy A51 camera comparison. These phones fall in the same price bracket and it would be really interesting to see how these cameras stack up against each other. Before we start this comparison, make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and also hit the like button if you find this video useful at some point. In this comparison, we have the Mi Note 10 Lite first with a 64 megapixels main Sony IMX 686 sensor. It's got an 8 megapixels ultra wide, 2 megapixels macro, and 5 megapixels depth sensor. On the front, uh, the Mi Note 10 Lite has a single 16 megapixels camera. Mi Note 10 Lite uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G's image processing. The A51, on the other hand, is the most popular Samsung mid range smartphone with a main 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 sensor. It's got a 12 megapixels ultra wide, 5 megapixels macro, and 5 megapixels depth camera. This phone has a 32 megapixel Sony IMX616 front camera, and it's using the Exynos 9611's image processing. Both camera apps come with a lot of features, but the Mi Note 10 Lite's camera app is slightly more feature rich with its integrated document scanner and more powerful Pro mode. A51 can do front camera slow mo selfies, which is what the Mi Note 10 Lite cannot do. Mi Note 10 Lite also has 1080p at 60 frames per second video recording, which is missing on the A51. Other features of these phones are somewhat similar. Let's start this comparison by taking a look at the 64 megapixels high res images. In this mode, the HDR and the AI doesn't work on any of these phones. Among the obvious differences is the extra amount of highlights on the A51. Its image is overexposed while the Mi Note 10 Lite's image is well saturated and has a smoother look. The dynamic range and colors on the Mi Note 10 Lite are quite under control as well. The same image in the normal or the low res mode brings highlights under control on the A51, but A51's image remains considerably bright here too. Mi Note 10 Lite's image for some reason happens to be very smooth. Some areas of the A51's image are still overexposed, but it's got a color boost. A51's image also seems well sharp. Depth effect and the background blur is equally good on both handsets. The main difference is still in the color tone only. A51's image is too much on the cooler side. Mi Note 10 Lite's image once again remains slightly dull with balanced colors as compared to super bright image of the A51. The same image in the ultra wide mode and this needs no explanation. In almost all of uh, the Mi Note 10 Lite's videos, I have talked about uh, the need for improvement in this phone's ultra wide result. A51's image has a superb dynamic range. The shadows appear darker in the image of the Mi Note 10 Lite. Take a look at some more high res images and then their low res and the ultra wide counterparts. The color of the sky on the A51 is more bluish and it's slightly grey on the Mi Note 10 Lite. Details are good on both handsets, A51's images appear cool once again. In some scenes, there is a slight pinkish tone in the images of A51 and the Mi Note 10 Lite's images are very warm. The difference between the high res and low res images isn't that big except for the color tone on the top, but in the ultra wide mode, the differences become way too much obvious with the A51 clearly beating the Mi Note 10 Lite. Because the A51 brings extra highlights in the high res images, I find its camera producing good uh, images when there is no such object in an image that could destroy it. For example, this sunflower looks very good on the A51, but if you look at the background which is being covered by the sunflower, that is still being overexposed but the flowers uh, cover it up. Mi Note 10 Lite's image uh, looks dull once again, but it's not overexposing any area. So in such cases, it totally depends on the situation. Edge detection of both handsets is also good. The A51 in the normal mode is definitely producing sharper images. The sky as you can see on the screen clearly looks very good on the A51 and in the ultra wide mode, A51's dynamic range is clearly better too. One thing that was common in the entire A51 images was the extra light it tries to bring in the images. In the uh, standard mode, the auto HDR was turned on on both handsets and I find the dynamic range going very good on the A51. The Mi Note 10 Lite tries its best to balance all the aspects and this may appeal some of the users. But the users who prefer brighter images, they might like the output of the Galaxy A51 
let me know about your choice here The macro camera is good on both handsets there is a difference of colors just like the normal mode the Mi Note 10 Lite's camera can shoot macro videos too so this is definitely its advantage here Samsung needs to improve the night mode of its cameras it's not the best in its class yet Mi Note 10 Lite's camera just like the normal images has a very balanced light in the night mode images as well A51 can sometimes overexpose the light source while the Mi Note 10 Lite takes good care of it. I will prefer the Mi Note 10 Lite's camera for the night mode any day over the Samsung Galaxy A51. And finally the selfies. A51 can capture enormously big selfies with better details in the 32 megapixels mode, but as far as the normal mode is concerned, its images go neck and neck with the Mi Note 10 Lite. My face looks more natural in the images of the Mi Note 10 Lite. It's a soft on both handsets but the skin tone is definitely better on the Mi Note 10 Lite. Saturation is too high on my face in the images of the A51. Edge detection is very good on both handsets. Obviously in the portrait or the live focus mode both phones wipe some of the edges. I personally like the selfies coming out of the Mi Note 10 Lite because it's not focusing on making any areas of my face red only. It's time for the videos now. Okay the Mi Note 10 Lite in the 4K mode has some enormous stability and this alone kills any other phone of this league. I am completely in love with this phone's stability. In the 4K mode the A51 doesn't have any stabilization. The remaining result is on your screen. In the 1080p at 30 frames per second normal mode, the EIS works on both phones. Both phones produce a good video here, but the result, but the result similar to the images can be seen here too, as far as the color tone is concerned. In the 1080p at 30 frames per second ultra wide video the resolution goes extremely poor but the stability hits its peak Take a look at the front camera videos now Uh, guys this is a front camera video comparison between uh, the Mi Note 10 Lite and the Galaxy A51 uh, right now i am finding the saturation a bit high on the Galaxy A51 uh, the frame of uh, the Mi Note 10 Lite is slightly cropped in and you guys tell me about the mic's voice recording quality and how these phones are capturing the colors let me show you around So drop your comments uh, below and let me know which phone's video and mic's voice recording quality are you finding better. And this brings us to the conclusion. Mi Note 10 Lite's camera any day is a lot better than the Samsung Galaxy A51. Given that you have very good lighting condition for photography, A51 may perform well in the low light conditions, but it also has the ability to mess up the exposure while the Mi Note 10 Lite maintains it well. You can bring the exposure of the A51 down and increase the brightness of Mi Note 10 Lite's images in post processing. Since we have to pick up a better all-rounder, it is definitely the Mi Note 10 Lite because of its video stability too. I do not mean to say that the A51's camera is poor. Yes, it is definitely very good, but just for 20 or 30 more dollars, you get a phone with a much better camera result. So make sure that you choose your next phone wisely if camera is going to be your main concern. Let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't yet and do hit thumbs up if you like this video. With that said, I will sign off and see you all in the next video.